It's 5 a.m. on Monday the 17th of May 2021, which means it's just five hours since the FCDO lifted its ban on international leisure travel from the UK. I am at Gatwick Airport and I will shortly be flying to Madeira with TUI on its first customer flight since the restart of travel. I'm going to be exploring exactly what holidays look like right now and what TUI customers can expect from travel. While Madeira is on the government's green list, there are still a number of testing requirements that need to be met in order to enter the Portuguese island. So on Friday, I took a fit to fly PCR test, which was delivered to my home and then to the lab by courier, and I received a negative result within 15 hours. I have a test to return lateral flow kit packed in my luggage to take in Madeira before my journey home, and I will also need to take a second PCR test within two days of my return to the UK. TUI is currently offering its package holiday customers this exact testing package of three tests for £60 per person, which is a considerable saving since the fit to fly PCR test alone usually costs £119 per person with Chronomics, TUI's testing partner. Holiday makers destined for Madeira also need to register on the Madeira Safe website and submit their negative PCR test result prior to arrival travel. Anyone who does not do this will be denied entry and arrival. Now that I'm all set for the trip, let's take a look at exactly what TUI customers can expect when travelling to Madeira this summer. Gatwick has implemented all the health and safety protocols that we have become familiar with over the past year. These include readily available hand sanitizer, social distancing markers and enhanced hygiene measures. TUI customers are encouraged to check in via the app or website and maintain social distancing at the gate and when boarding. Once on board with TUI, holidaymakers are asked to wear their mask for the duration of the flight, while the aircraft is regularly disinfected and all food and drink purchases are made by contactless payment. On arrival in Madeira, travellers must show their Madeira Safe QR code before making their way to their hotel or resort. I'm staying at Rio Palace Madeira, which is one of TUI's all-inclusive hotels on the Portuguese island. All guests must sanitise their hands and have their temperature checks on arrival, and there are protective screens installed at reception. Social distancing requirements are in place throughout the resort, while guests are asked to wear face coverings in all public areas except by the pool. A number of British holidaymakers are already settled in and ready to make the most of their long-awaited break. Yeah, we're supposed to go to Cornwall next week, and yeah, this is two hundred quid more to come to Madeira, so it was a no-brainer, really. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of a faff with all the stuff we had to do online, but apart from that, once you get through that, plain sailing now, it's brilliant. It's worth it. Yeah, but it's really worth it. Yeah. And I just say, do it. I've waited a year and a half for this and I'm finally here! <laughs> Rio Palace has made a few adjustments at breakfast, lunch and dinner in order to keep guests and staff safe. These include longer dining times, a one-way system and a new protocol by which guests do not share tongs at the buffet. So today we have 110 English clients arriving and next week we will have the double. So. We hope we're going to have a very nice summer. So there we have it. A TUI trip to Madeira might look slightly different to how it did pre-pandemic, but Brit's passion for all-inclusive holidays remains strong. Let's hope that with all the precautions that have been put in place, international leisure travel this time is here to stay.